Bonjour. Thank you for calling Service Ontario. Merci d'avoir appelé Service Ontario. Service Ontario will not contact customers to request information on their social insurance number. You may be the target of a scam or a fraud call. We encourage you to report the incident to the Canadian Anti-Fraud Center at... Thank you for calling Service Ontario. Speaking on the Hi, I recently moved from Ontario to Prince Edward Island and I'm required to get a um, driver's abstract and I'm having right. trouble finding out how to do it online after no, I've okay. moved. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get you through to someone that's going to walk you through the steps and uh, and let you know how to get the, the documents that you need, okay? Okay, perfect, uh, thanks. I would suggest uh, gra grabbing a pen and paper. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for calling Service Ontario. Kristen speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Kristen. My name is Wayne Briggs. I just recently moved from Ontario to Prince Edward Island, and I need a driver's abstract from Ontario to uh, okay. <clears throat> get insurance. And I don't know how okay. to go about that because all the forms I found online seem to be within Ontario, and <laughs> and I don't have... Uh, I'm not sure how to do it when I'm already out of the province. Okay, so you need to request it via fax or mail. It has to be by fax or mail. Okay. Yes. That's the only way you can request it. Uh, I found a form. Um, it says a record search application. Is that the one? That is the one, yes. Okay. Do you know what type of information they need? Um, well, they requested six years of, of my driver's abstract. And then I said, well, it looked like there was three, a choice of three or five. And three or five, yeah, or extended, yeah. There's so, not really six. Yeah, so I told them, and they, they said that five might work, I guess. <laughs> That's what they said on the email. So <laughs> I'm like, well, I hope it works. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this the thing is, is, it takes a while to get the records too. Like you're not just going to get it; it's, it's going to be um, mailed or faxed over, and it takes about ten to fifteen business days. Yeah, ten to twenty. Yeah, I so double check, it, like double check with them and ask them, you know, how long it's going to take. You know. Yeah, they knew that it was going to. Well, they just won't process my insurance until I get the information. Yeah. So, uh, so I was looking at the form section A. There's a spot for my driver's license number. The the RIN, I guess I don't need is that a business number? You don't need that. I don't need that. Yeah, you don't need that. That's a business so number. the address that I put in, is that my address here in PEI? No, put your Ontario address first, and then you would put the PEI address. Where would I put the PEI address then? There should be a place like who is requesting it. If not, you could put it at the bottom. Because there's a... Be sent to... Oh, please, like, I just add it to the end? I, um, yeah. It's not part of the form. There was a... No. Oh, there's an applicant information, which it says authorized ministry of transportation user identification in the name of the company. Don't worry about that. I don't put anything in there. Yeah. That wouldn't be where I put my address. No. So I, I really just add it to an extra okay. note that gets that gets sent. Pretty much. That doesn't sound great. <laughs> that doesn't sound very efficient. Uh, not to mention I, that I have to fax it in, but and that's the only way that that's the only way we can get that through, right? Is to f fax this form in, and then kind of tack my address on the end. Now, as for paying with the credit card, um, it says that there's a credit card authorization form. It has to be sent in with that. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm clicking on the link for that. Another form on the ministry uh, website. So where you got that one, it should be okay. like on the next page over. Yeah, I, I thought it would, it's, it seems to be highlighted in blue, but it doesn't go anywhere. Um, no. Let me just see if I can find it. Um, oh, it'll be a standard form for that? Yeah. And do I just add like the, you'll 
know what to charge me on that or is that um yeah yeah so you would put on there if it would be certified stamped and sealed or uncertified yeah what what is the certified or uncertified does it does it matter do you know for insurance you have to ask the insurance company because certified means that um like it would have to be mailed you can't get that one back to you oh but the answer oh it can get so the uncertified can actually be faxed, uh, faxed yes, it back. Because it's yes. Okay. Um. So, for, so I would fax in this form and then request request that it get faxed back to, to me. Yep, but you would have to say it would have to be uncertified. Yeah, uncertified. Okay. All right. Well, it's too bad we don't have more of this online. That. Could actually be yeah. completed easily accessed. Yeah, I know. With actual place to put my address and stuff for it to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll give it a shot, and I guess I'll wait ten days to see if it works. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Give us a call too after you fax it in. Okay. A week or so, give us a call because we'll see the case number that's on there. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Of course, no problem. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.